Ronaldo Cifas has defied the odds to now be making a life for himself in Macedonia professionally. The 23-year-old who made the move from Arnett Gardens is currently playing for FC Skupi, who finished second in the Macedonian Premiership, thus booking a place in the Europa League. Not a bad move coming from the tough community of Waltham Park. That's a big step for me, yeah, because you know, I can Waltham, you know, is um, garrison community. So you know, like for me to make that step, I know like you have maybe kids you now looking at me different, because for a player come from Waltham to reach playing in Europe, <laughs> that's a big step. So I'm grateful for that, you know, to even be the first one in my community to make that step, so that's good for me. I know what I want, so I have to go feed 100%. So it don't matter with my family back in Jamaica, who I have back in Jamaica, I just know I have to just go there and just do my best so I can maybe help them. So that is the reason. <laughs> I don't know why I cope, you know. <laughs> I just have to do it. I just have to do it. I just cannot go in Macedonia and say, oh, Jamaica, because you know Jamaica. You come back, Jamaica is good food. Um, everything here, but you just have to just go over there and work it out on your own, you know. So I adapt that quick as possible, you know, because I know what I want. And then, and then my agent Kevin Cohen, he always telling me like, you have to keep the focus, you know. So he helped me a lot, you know, helped me stay focused because he speak with me like maybe 99% of the time, you know, to help me like stay focused, you know. So. He's play a big part, so that's why I, I'm I'm really grateful. And to think he was told he wasn't going to come out to anything good. I come across that like so much time. People like telling me, hey, you're not going to come out to be nothing, you know, you're going to be like that guy, that guy, you know. But my mindset was so um, firm about football. So I know it don't matter what people tell you, it's all about what you want, you know, so that's what I go for. My motivation, I would say like my mom, you know, she's, she coming from far, you know, and she have like six of us. So I would say she is the one who like motivate me a lot, you know, and then I have my son. So that is a big, big reason why I have to make this step from Arnett to Europe, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry she's not here to do this interview, but I don't know how to say it, but <laughs> when I say her, my heart cry, you know, because to see how far she's coming from, you know, and then she used to give me, like, money and stuff like that. Now it's me giving her, you know, so I'm really happy. And she, I don't know, I can say over the moon. You have somewhere far than the moon. <laughs> so I think she's far than even the moon now with my performance, you know, so. She watched me a lot, you know. She find everything on YouTube, everything. And so she well happy. All of my family happy. I meet them when I just come and I see all of them faces like, ah, <laughs> they're so happy for me. So I'm happy for that. Before reaching Macedonia, Cephas's journey started at Tarrant Primary. Tarrant, no, you know, is a primary school league, you know. I play primary league, win primary league, and then, you know, I take that step now. When I come to Charlie Smith now, I have like one mindset, you know, so I use Charlie Smith now as a platform to get my name out there, you know, because I was the one now who everyone relying on. So I just use Charlie Smith as the platform to go up, you know, and then I meet like Kurt Booth, you know, in Charlie Smith. So he motivated me a lot to, to make the step then, you know, Jerome Wade. So I go um, from... Charlie Smith to Arnett Garden. Maybe come to Arnett Garden. I'm the youngest player in Arnett Garden. So <laughs> when I come to Arnett Garden, I just come and then, you know, you have big players, you know, like Kemal Malcolm, Marvin Morgan, Vishen Harris, you know. Those players speak with me a lot, you know, telling me, bro, when we left, uh, you have to take it up in hand. So that's why. And I take that, that, I take that talk personal, and that's exactly what I do. But it was by chance that he reached Charles Smith High as he had passed his GSAT for Heidel High, where he spent two years. Move is a lot of stuff, you know. Uh, I just couldn't cope with like Heidel lifestyle, you know, like 
it's, the lifestyle is different, you know. And you know, like a youth come from this garrison community, the school was so strict. And then they maybe want me to do chuck and feel, and that is not my thing. <laughs> so I, I leave and come to a school I know, yeah, this school is just all about football. So that is a big step for me. He landed in Macedonia in 2022 and took the league by storm. He has scored 11 goals in the league and won in the Champions League qualifiers. When I reach, I play maybe practice game, a um, couple practice game. The feedback was like, oh, this guy, lightning quick. <laughs> so that is a good thing. I get good feedback from the coaches, you know. So that's why I can do so well in the season. It's a big difference there in Macedonia, you know, because I'm the fastest in the league in Macedonia, so it's good for me. And that helped my team a lot, you know, because they use me a lot, so that is the best thing for me. For me, football is there is good, you know, like it's a good step from Jamaica to there, you know, and from there you can maybe go up, so it's just all about what you go in Macedonia and do, you know, so that is the big difference. You know, in Jamaica, like I'm playing in Jamaica, is, I was like so raw with just pace alone, you know, so now it's different. Now my game is different and it's showing, so that is the best thing. It changed a lot, you know, and over there you have to adapt quick because those players play so fast, you wouldn't even know, so you have to adapt quick and you cannot play slow. When I just go in Macedonia, like I'm playing so slow, I don't even know. Like I used to this Jamaican slowing down the game, that killed the game, so. I have to adapt that quick as possible and that's what I do. I can say it's a good step from Jamaica to there, you know, that is a big difference from what you're earning in Jamaica, what you go in Macedonia and earning, it's different. So that will be good so you can take care of, take care of your family, yourself, you know. No, everyone, everyone favorite league for you come from Jamaica is Premier League, you know, but it don't matter where it take me. To be honest, it don't matter where you take me. Everyone wants to play in Premier League. It don't matter if you take me France, Belgium, Germany, anywhere else, you know. It don't matter. I just want, if I go up more, I know I will still perform in any level, so I know. In Macedonia, they don't have like rice and peas, fried chicken and those things, you know. They mostly feed from like vegetable and stuff like that. Vegetable is good, but you know, we as Jamaica, we like our local um, rice and peas and stuff like that. I miss my Aki and salt fish. I miss every Jamaican food. There's no Jamaican food is there, none. So I miss everything I eat here. My, my curry goat, my rice and peas and pigtail. Ah. He's eyeing something bigger in Europe, but it's the reggae boy squad that is biggest on his agenda at present. And there are calls for him to be included. I know, I hear it all over, you know, but all I have to do is just Stay focused, you know. I just stay focused in Macedonia, and then when that call up come, I just know I take it with both hands, you know. But you know, everyone now playing football, they they want a national team to call them. So I I have to just wait. Maybe it's just not my turn. I don't know, but I just have to just wait until I see that. Oh yeah, this is my turn. And when I get it, I sure I will never come out that team again. CFAS had a call up to the national team on the previous coach Paul Hall. So I just go maybe training for two days and then I train and then come back to on it and then like you know that could give you a mental breakdown because you know like after that they pick a team I think go Canada so I was never in that squad so I was just I just keep the focus you know because if I like think about it I maybe I wouldn't reach where I, I reach right now. 